let's talk about creating art with markers and pens. The two most important things to remember when you're working with pen or marker are one, pressure, and two, cap. When I'm using my markers, I'm going to leave them in my container until I know that I'm ready for them, or I know what's the color I'm going to use. I'm just going to pull out one marker quickly. Let's use blue. The cap comes off and I don't want to lose it, so I'm going to place it on the back end. If you look at my marker tip, it's really nice and pointed. That will wear down over time, but one way you can make it last is by coloring gently, drawing gently with your marker. The reason it's so pointed is so you can use the very tip and draw to make a thin line like this, or I can turn my marker on its side and use the side of it to make a thick line, like this. Those two marks are very different. If I press harder with my marker, it's not going to draw or color any darker. It's simply going to smash the point. And if I want this to last a long time, I'm only going to make marks using a gentle hand. Don't forget, when you're done using your marker, take the cap off of the back end. Make sure you know which end of the cap your marker is going into. This end has a piece inside of it. This end is an open space. My marker goes into the open space. I point the tip in and carefully line it up. I don't want to smash it against the sides, so I'm going to make sure I put it right in the middle. Then I press my cap down and listen for a click. That's how I know my cap has sealed and the air will not dry out my marker. Pens are also a great tool for drawing and creating art. And so here I have an illustration pen. These are really nice because they have thin, dark lines. So when I take off the cap, I'll notice that this has a very fine point on it. That means the point is delicate. Just like my washable marker that I used before, I need to make sure that I use a gentle pressure when I draw with this pen. Pressing harder or softer won't make any difference on the darkness of my line. So I'm just going to draw gently. I can make marks again and again if I want to make a space look darker. The more ink on the paper, the darker it will appear. And again, when I'm finished, I take the cap and click it on. One thing to remember if you're using any type of permanent marker or pen is to make sure that the marks are only going on your paper. Any art material you use, you should be putting the marks only on your paper or canvas. But this is especially true when you're using a permanent material like this. I also recommend when you're working with markers and ink that you lay another piece of paper or protective barrier underneath your art piece because they have a tendency to soak through the paper. That will protect your drawing surface or table wherever it is that you're working. I need to check and make sure that all of my caps are attached securely to my markers and pens. 
Then the last step is to make sure I clean up my materials completely.